Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Lone Star. My name is Jeremy and I've got something new for you today. It's actually new to me as well. And that is Monster Bass, the Regional Pro Box. This thing's pretty darn sweet. I'm gonna share with you in terms of what's inside. This is gonna be a two part video. We're gonna unbox it, show you the baits, and then we're gonna roll out to some water and try to catch some fish with them. And stay tuned because at the end, there's gonna be a little something in store for you, so this could potentially be yours. All right, stay tuned. But let's first get into the box, and let's see what's in it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually start at the top of the water column and work my way down. I think that's something that's very cool about this particular box. First of all, it's packed with some amazing name brand baits, not just some made up stuff, but some name brand baits that's absolutely gonna crush them on the water. But I'm gonna start at the top of the water column, we'll work our way down, and then we'll get out and throw them on the water as well. All right, first, let me start with something that, that everyone's pretty much familiar with, is the Strike King Elite Buzz Bait. Pretty awesome, but it's a bleeding bait series. This is actually a 3 8 ounce. One thing that uh, also came in the pack is a Great Lakes, kind of like a uh, uh, topwater toad, as you can see here. So you could throw this by itself across the top of the water. Uh, it's got some uh, pretty good appendages across the back. Or you could pair it up as a trailer here to the buzz bait. That's probably what I'm going to do uh, when we take this out to the water. But these essentially can be used by themselves or separately. All right, next, and this one's, this one's really cool. This is the Savage Gear 3D Bat. Okay, now, you may be saying to yourself, it's a bat, is a bass really gonna eat a bat? Hit up my Instagram page, scroll backwards about two months, and the same people said the same thing about a little mallard duck, and I crushed them on that thing just like this is. If you haven't already seen the videos, this thing slays them. This is a 3D bat, top water bait, pretty darn cool, and it essentially wobbles in the water, and as you can hear, pretty good knocking sound as well. So those are the two top water lures, both the buzz bait and the 3D bat by Savage Gear. Pretty awesome, definitely not something that I probably ever would have picked up on my own, but now I get to try it, thanks to my regional pro box. All right, let's move down in the water column just a little bit. And I want to highlight this right here. This is a swim bait series by Life Target, the Sunfish. I'm going to bust out the package real quick, just show you a couple of really cool features that I noticed about this bait. If I can get it out. There we go. I think it's packaged really well. Okay, let me show you a couple things. First of all, notice that tail swims really well. It's kind of got a wide, turn it that way, you can probably see it better, a wide, cup-shaped tail that's really going to swim in the water, plus an incredibly, incredibly stout hook. What I really like about this is if I'm throwing this that's not necessarily the place I need it to be weedless, which by the way, that guard right there allows it to be weedless. If I'm throwing it somewhere that's not weedless, there's also a place right on the bottom where I can also use uh, a treble hook. It's like I attach a treble hook there at the bottom, so you've got a hook on the bottom and the top to improve your hookup ratio. This little thing is going to slay them, especially with that extra treble hook on the bottom, kind of a stinger hook. I'm looking forward to throwing this one. But that's something you can swim a couple of feet underneath the water or as high as you want to. Next is, and this is absolutely going to slay them right now this time of year. I forgot to mention, the whole point of the regional box is because this is particular baits to my region, which I'm in Texas. So if you're in the Midwest or California or Florida, you're gonna get different baits in your regional box than I'm gonna get because, well, your weather pattern and what the bass are doing in your region are different than mine. But this is gonna slam right now. This is Randy's Swim and Runner, 3 8 ounce. I'll put it that way, had underspin. Already comes with two paddle tool swim baits. I'm excited to actually throw this <clears throat> because I have no doubt that I'm gonna catch them on this here. I'm actually pretty darn positive, anyways. That's a killer bait right now in the fall here in Texas as the bass are chasing shad, chasing bait fish. They're corralling them up and they're busting them. And this is absolutely gonna work. All right, if you're out fishing and things did not go well and it's a slow day, you're not catching them on top water in the morning or the evening or middle of the day, you're not catching them in the middle of the column with either that swim toad or the, uh, the sunfish here, 
Uh, then what's awesome is you can go two different routes. You can go with a trick worm or you can go with Z-Man. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about both of these and also comes with your box some pretty darn sharp must add hooks, three aughts for those trick worms. I'm gonna highlight both those in a minute. But right here, you'll see with Z-Man, everyone knows Z-Man, but this is the Finesse Shads in the meat dog color, which is kind of a purplish hue, uh, a little bit of a purple uh, translucent color. So right now, as you can see, it's a, it's a nice little profile bait. Uh, really, really all of these stretchy with that elastic plastic, but on a drop shot, that thing's gonna do amazing work in the fall and as we transition to the winter months and just hope it can get cooler. The last thing though is the ozone lures. I'm excited about this one, let me tell you why. Not only is this just a normal trick shot, but you'll notice right here, floating worm. So I'm gonna pair this probably with this, these must-have hooks, the three aught, put those two together, put a little tungsten weight on the top of those, maybe a 316, uh, probably ounce weight and drag one of those off the bottom. Because it's gonna float, it's gonna stand up much like the Z-Man's going to. So both of these on a slow day, going a little bit of finesse with the drop shot or a little bit slower with the trick worm are absolutely gonna be killer. Now, one thing that also comes in the box is your card, Monster Bass Challenge. Also gives you a rundown of the baits, the lures, the prices. I can tell you that this whole box was probably close to $55 or $60 retail. It's actually gonna be closer to, I believe, between $30 and $35 on the website, which you can actually go to my profile below, click click the uh, description below, I'll drop a link there, or you can hop over to Instagram, hit the profile button, and in that profile will also be a link to hop over and grab your own Monster Bass box. This thing's packed full of awesome baits. All right. With that being said, let's get on the water and let's go to catch some fish. All right, what's happening, guys? We're back at it again this morning. I say back at it. Actually, I didn't fish last night. Lost some sunlight, so I figured I'd start early this morning. I'm going to start with the buzz bait, kind of the bleeding buzz bait with that toad on the back. Out here, they're chasing a lot of shad right now. I'm hoping early morning. Also come up and bust on a buzz bait. So we'll see what happens with this lure. And if not, I feel very confident about that underspin. So we may try that here in just a little bit as well. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just thought of something. So I think right now, out here, this particular pond, I've already or this little neighborhood lake, I've already seen them chasing shad. So I'm gonna swap the red for this uh, little swim bait right here. So I'm gonna swap those out. Put the red frog back in here. And we're gonna tie on this little swim bait on the back of the buzz bait. See what that produces. I'm trying not to destroy this packaging because too much because I'm going to give this away. I'm going to give this whole box away after my trip today. Stay tuned to the end. I'll tell you how to win it. All right. Now we got a little bait fish profile instead of the frog. It's the versatility of a buzz bait. I'm using the Cast King Speed Demon, the original Speed Demon reel. And it's got a 9.3 to 1 gear ratio, 9.3 to 1 gear ratio. I like it for top water and spinner bait. Not that I need something that fast for spinner bait, but I really like it for a long cast to cover water on a, on a popper or a buzz bait, something like that. I can really reach out and touch somebody with these casts. I have no idea what that means. Just sounded good. All 
right, we're going to put the buzz bait down for a minute and switch over to this little, uh, I think it's a, a road runner. Is that what it's called? Swimming runner. Randy's swimming runner. This is a 3 8 ounce underspin on a white paddle tail. So I'm probably going to let this sink for just a minute and then give just a real slow steady retrieve. And with the bass chasing bait fish right now, oh, I think I might have just hit some grass. It's a good sign though, it's grass there. But with the bass chasing bait fish right now, this is going to be a pretty good little bait to be throwing around this grass. And reeling fast right now this time of year is actually okay to do because the fish are chasing fast moving bait anyways. So this is a custom black combo by Luz. And I'm actually fixing to go pick up another one this afternoon because I love this reel so much. So I'm out here on this little neighborhood, uh, it's more of a lake, actually, there's, there's a fish swimming right there. But I'm out here on this little neighborhood lake, and one thing that's interesting about this lake, oh, there's a, oh, I had one, dang it, dang it, one came up and bit it. So I saw a fish kind of swimming out here, chunked out in front of it, and sure enough, it was there. Let me see if I can get him again. But one thing that's interesting about this little neighborhood lake is it actually has been stocked in years past and there's actually fish feeders in the pockets but the fish feeders have not been actively working for a long time now. Used to, the ducks were conditioned to come and eat the food as the fish finders would go off and they have not been working at least for a year and a half. And the neighborhood has actually now told all the residents that they can come and eat. Like, they used to be catch and release only. Now it's catch and eat all of the bass that were in here. So, it used to be an incredibly great little lake. It still is. But it's just not quite as great as it used to be. I got one. Little guy. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll take it. It's a decent little, uh, maybe like a little one pounder. Got him on the uh, swimming runner. Yes. All right. At least we found them. Found where they're at. Decent little, decent little one. Hey, for the first fish, I'll take it. He gone. All right, that's a good sign. It's a good sign. He didn't really come up and hammer that too hard. I actually thought uh, I'd kind of caught some grass again. Decent little fish. Need to find his big brother now. Switch back over to the buzz bait real quick. A lot of grass right in this area. So I'm gonna pull the buzz bait <clears throat> over the top of it. Man, what a tough morning it has been on the water today. It's actually been a beautiful Saturday. But you know what guys, sometimes that just is, is what it is. I will tell you though, the baits that are in this box in the Monster, Backs, Monster Bass Box Pro Series for the South Region, there's some legit baits in that box. Uh, this morning just wasn't the right conditions for some of them. 
It's a little bit too windy for a buzz bait. Too much grass uh, for the drop shot. Actually, I didn't even bring a, a drop shot rig, but a little bit too much grass for that. Did get a couple of bites on that ozone uh, worms, uh, the little finesse worm. That actually was a really cool bait because when it landed, that tail stood up in the water, very similar to a Z-Man. Uh, that's going to catch a lot of fish. The swim and runner, that's actually what got it done this morning. I had several bites, landed one that you saw. Uh, not a huge fish, but save me from the skunk today. Thank you, monster bass, because it wasn't for that. Mm. Mm. I'd be sitting here with my tail between my legs. Actually, you probably wouldn't even see this video because I wouldn't even show it to you. But that's how it goes sometimes, man. Sometimes it's hard catching fish. It's a hard day. Uh, I blame it on the moon, actually. The moon is still up right now. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and the moon is still up. Uh, nearly a full moon and I blame it on the moon cycle. Definitely can't be me. Uh, anyways, so I was actually hoping to get the, the, the bass, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Savage, Savage Gear? Yeah, the Savage Gear 3D bat. I was hoping to throw it. Uh, and I also did not throw the sunfish, uh, made by Live Target. Those are also some pretty cool, uh, lures. All right. So I promised you I would give the box away. And even though I only caught one fish and I would love to have caught more, I'm still going to give it away. So here's what you have to do. Comment below out of all the boxes that are in, this is actually the September box, in that box, which one's your favorite? Drop a comment below, like the video, and I'm going to announce the winner on the upcoming video. So within the next week, I'm going to Lake Fork, hopefully going to catch some monster bass, no pun intended, at Lake Fork. But you're going to need to subscribe to the channel to see that next video because that's where I'm going to announce the winner. So you got about a week. Share with your friends, like the video, subscribe. You're probably going to want to turn on notifications so you see that next video. But comment below what your favorite uh, uh, bait is or lure is in this box. And if you're the winner, I will ship it to you. All right? That's it, man. That's it, guys. Until next time, you know the drill. If nobody's told you today, God loves you, and so do I. And until next time, peace out.